I just got access to the GPT 4.0 desktop app here for Mac OS, and I wanted to share with you guys my first impression. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I logged into GPT 4.0 this morning, and I got this awesome notification uh, that ChatGPT is now available for Mac OS with Plus users getting early access. So I'm very, very excited about. Uh, finally having access to test the desktop app. Let's go ahead and do it and I'm gonna bring you along for the journey. All right, here we go. Let's open it up and we'll sign in. Introducing the launcher. Use the launcher to instantly ask ChatGPT anything. No matter what you're doing, you can upload files, take a screenshot, or take a photo. Press Option and Space to open the launcher. You can change this shortcut in Settings. Option and Space. Wow, this is really cool. What's the weather like for Jacksonville, Florida? Wow, that's really cool. Wow, that's really awesome. I like this a lot. So I went ahead and searched the internet. Give me a chart of the S&P 500 performance for the year 2024 to date. So here's the chart for the S&P 500 performance year to date. When I right click, I cannot download the image. So it looks like I can view the image, but I can't see it. Um, let me see if this shows up here on my sidebar here. Oh, it is showing up here. So it looks like in order for me to like manipulate or download this image, which opens it up here in a larger way. The data looks incorrect as well. I can't yeah, manipulate the charts here in the app. So that's one thing uh, to note. Let me just find, so it looks like here is a 2023 chart. So you would expect, yeah, up and downs, and it looks like it's not pulling the real data there. <laughs> so there's probably some work still to do on that. Um, I'm curious on the voice capabilities of what the app is like. Let's go ahead and check that out. So we got to choose a voice. I think I, I'm going to go with Cove. Hello, hello. It's going pretty well. How about you? Not much. Just got to do some work for some clients. Make a YouTube video for my YouTube channel about talking to the OpenAI GPT-40 uh, desktop app, which is you. So it looks like you can click to activate it. So if I click here, yeah. If you click on the anywhere here, when it says click to activate, it will activate that. It uh, looks like it's telling me I've got a poor connection. So it looks like when you have a bandwidth latency or something, it'll also let you know that. Yeah, it looks like it just like the Jeep, um, the app on ChatGPT now, it gives a printout here. I didn't notice like a an like the ability to interrupt yet. So it looks like they are still going to be releasing the updated like voice chat features here soon, but it's very, very, yeah, exciting to um, have access to the GPT-40 app. The other thing that, um, you know, they said that they'll be doing is ability here for it to view your screen. And it looks like I don't have ability to do that right now. So it looks like, yeah, if you click on this button here, it will bring up the, the chat GPT threads and then hide them. You can upload an image. Let's test uh, this one here because uh, this is not the right chart. Just upload the other yeah, image. Just download this and upload it and say, hey, your chart looks incorrect. So <clears throat> I just uploaded a real chart from 
2023 performance and now it's doing like simulations of expected performance of the S&P 500 so yeah very interesting I definitely think uploading like CSV fi files from like Yahoo Finance or things will have a uh, better performance here pretty impressed um, so how far here with just yeah my first impressions of the app I think it's really cool to be able to have the app like function uh, outside of the browser and then once the ability to like see my screen and the new voice features like start to happen this is going to be a really really powerful tool so um, i'm going to be releasing other uh, use cases here and testing out the desktop app if you have any questions or things that i should test out here with uh, the gpt 4.0 in the desktop app let me know in the comment section down below please remember to smash that subscribe button so you can help support me making other awesome videos like this please check out some of my other gpt 4.0 videos i've been doing on the channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.